My name is Chabelli. I'm a board certified anesthesiologist assistant. Keep on watching for what a day in my life is like. I wake up around 5.30 to 6 a.m. I usually like to get it up two hours before my case starts so I have time to make breakfast and set up without rushing. I start off the day with breakfast and coffee at home. Avocado toast is my favorite breakfast food. I get in and put my things away. Checklists are important for any efficient system. A popular anesthesia checklist is Miss Maid's. A machine check must be done every day. A section check, ambu check. Then set up monitors with leads in an accessible place for you. Get an airway set up, an IV kit, and set up drugs or syringes. The anesthesia plan is tailored for every patient, but there are a set of common medications I usually like to administer. I start with anti-nausea drugs, then I give sedatives and analgesics, aka pain medicine. Then I would do my induction, and this case is a robotic case where the patient will be intubated, so I'll be giving a paralytic. I also give Decadron to reduce any airway swelling or irritation. I usually try to get a syringe ready for the antibiotic since that will be the next thing the patient will need. I'll have a syringe prepared for a presser as well. And again, I like to have all the syringes I'll be needing for the first part of the procedure in terms of anesthesia ready because it just reminds me on what I need to give next and I don't forget any vital things that I like to give. Once the room is all set up, I will meet the patient. I'll fill in any gaps of medical history in the patient chart and discuss the anesthetic plan. I also let patients know about common risks with anesthesia and what I do to mitigate those risks. Back in the OR, when I'm in the operating room with the patient, I drop the medications and pre-oxygenate the patient before induction. After induction and securing the airway is when maintenance phase starts. During this phase, there's a lot of monitoring and adjusting the anesthetic to the patient. This includes adjusting the patient's positioning. During emergence, the patient's paralytic is reversed if they were paralyzed. The patient is extubated once criteria is met and they're transferred to PACU. In PACU, the receiving RN gets the report of the patient history, the case, and the anesthetic before taking over care of the patient. The patient is dropped off when vital signs are stable. During this day, I was in a flip room, so there was time to set up before getting a breakfast break. During my second case, I also received a lunch break. For the third case this day, due to the patient's history, as a team, we wanted to take extra precautions when placing the airway, so we used a glide scope. One of my final checks that I do is I add to, into the standard template chart medications I'll be giving in the case as another reminder. I also take out some of the excess medications in the standard charting template. Around 3 p.m., I was relieved by a coworker on a later shift schedule. I gave her report and left her with my student for the day. I went straight to the gym and met my boyfriend for an upper body workout day. As soon as I started working out of school, I focused on my shoulders, triceps, and forearms since we utilize those muscles a lot for intubations. I usually have dinner around 6 to 7 p.m. and I chill after that. I appreciate this job so much and I can't show some of the most interesting things we do due to HIPAA, but I hope this inspires some people to look further into the profession. Thanks for following along for a day in my life and I'll catch you next time.